Today's notes, we're going to talk about the slopes of parallel and perpendicular lines. Looking at the table on the first row, we're going to talk about horizontal lines, vertical lines, and slanted lines. Horizontal lines, let's give ourselves a visual. Draw a vertical line, and then we'll have a slanted line. Horizontal lines. The equation for horizontal line is y equal to some number, where that number is the y-intercept. Now the slope of a horizontal line is 0. For a vertical line, the equation is x equals some number, where that number is the x-intercept. And the slope of a vertical line is undefined. The equation for a line that's slanted uh, is y equals mx plus b. This is the slope-intercept form. The slope is the m, where the intercept the B is the y-intercept. Think M for slope is how you move, where B, the y-intercept, is your beginning point. And our slope formula, so M represents the slope, is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. You can look at that as the change y over change of x. The rise over run. When it comes to parallel and perpendicular lines, there are relationships between their slopes and y-intercepts. Parallel lines have the same slope, where the slopes of perpendicular lines are different. The slopes in these two lines here, lines are parallel, the slopes are the same. Y-intercepts, they have to be different. If I have so if the slope and y-intercept are the same, the lines are coinciding. They are the same line. Now for per, uh, perpendicular lines, the slopes are different, but they are negative reciprocals. They have to be negative reciprocals in order for the lines to be perpendicular. When it comes to the y-intercept, they could be the same or different. It doesn't matter. And I want you to make note that all horizontal and vertical lines are perpendicular. Just to give you that visual. Horizontal line and a vertical line always intersect at a 90 degree angle. Therefore, they are perpendicular. Example number one. A line has a slope of 3 fourths. What is the slope of any line? A perpendicular, so that means it's the negative reciprocal, so I negate and then I invert it or flip the fraction, it'd be four thirds. I want you to make a note that the slopes, the product of the slopes, so that means when I multiply three fourths times negative four thirds, it's always negative one. So we get negative 12 over 12, which is negative one. So once again, if you have two lines that are perpendicular, the product of the slopes is always negative 1. Part B, what is the slope of a line that's parallel? The slopes of parallel lines are equivalent, so the slope would be 3 fourths. In number 2, it starts by saying that AB is parallel to CD. So if the slope of AB is negative 4 fifths, and the slope of CD 
is 8 over x plus 7. What is the value of x? Well, the slopes of parallel lines are equivalent. So set them equal to and solve. And to solve a proportion, we use cross multiplication. So 40 equals negative 4x minus 28. Add the 28. 68 equals 4x. Divide by 4. X is 17. Or divide by negative 4. Mean negative 17. Number 3. Line segment AB has endpoints A, negative 5, 7. B, 2, negative 4. What is the slope of the perpendicular bisector of AB? So to give you a visual, perpendicular bisector, here's AB. The perpendicular bisector goes through the midpoint and is drawn perpendicular. So if I need to find the slope, the slope of any two perpendicular lines are negative reciprocals. So let's first find the slope of AB so I can negate and invert the fraction. So AB, the slope is equal to y2 minus y1, so negative 4 minus 7, over x2 minus x1, so 2 minus negative 5. We get negative 11 over 7, so the perpendicular bisector, the slope is equal to the negation of that, so it's positive, flip the fraction, 7 over 11. Number four, classify JK as a horizontal or vertical line. The coordinates are given here as, uh, in terms algebraically, and we know that A is equal to C. Well, in order to determine whether a line is horizontal or vertical, we look at the slope. So again, here we have a zero slope, and we have here an undefined slope. So let's look at the slope for JK. Slope is y2 minus y1, so I'm going to have d minus b over c minus a. And since I know that a is equal to c, this difference is going to be zero. I don't know anything about d minus b, but since this is zero, we have an undefined slope. So therefore, jk is a vertical line since the slope of jk is undefined. Number five says the lines represented by the equations are parallel, the same line, perpendicular, intersecting, but not perpendicular. In order to determine if the lines are parallel, perpendicular, intersecting, we need to look at the slope. In this equation, we can easily see we have a slope of two-thirds. In order to see the slope in the second line, we have to solve for y. So 4x plus 6y equals 6. Subtract the 4x. On the right side, I'm going to write it in y equals mx plus b form. So I'm going to write the negative 4x first. Divide by 6 and y equals negative. Now 4 divided by 6, it reduces to 2 thirds. 6 divided by 6 is 1. So I have a slope of 2 thirds. And then now a slope of negative two-thirds. Well, this is the negation of the other slope, but it's not a reciprocal. So it's not perpendicular. They're not the same, so they're not parallel, and it also can't be the same line. With the same line, not only are the slopes the same, but the intercepts are the same. So therefore, it's intersecting, but not perpendicular. Number six. Same question as number five, but it's not multiple choice. So I need to take the two equations, set them both um, 
or rewrite them both in terms of y. So y equals, solve them for y. And then I can determine by looking at the slopes if they're parallel, perpendicular, intersecting, or if they coincide. So 3x plus 2y equals 7. Subtract the 3x. 2y equals negative 3x plus 7. Divide by 2, and y equals negative 3 halves x plus 7 halves. So my slope is what I'm looking at to determine whether they're parallel, perpendicular, intersecting, or coincide is negative 3 halves. The other equation, 3y equal to 4x plus 7. Divide by 3, and y equals 4 thirds x plus 7 thirds. So there are my two slopes. Now the equations are not exactly the same, so they don't coincide. Um, the slopes are not the same, so they're not parallel. They're not negative reciprocals, so they're not perpendicular, therefore they're intersecting. To explain, I'm just going to bullet, since the slopes are not the same, so I'm going to bullet twice, they are not parallel. I should say the lines, because they refers to the slopes. Since the slopes are not the same, the lines are not parallel. Since the slopes are not negative reciprocals, the lines are not perpendicular, maybe I'll say one, and then second, since the slopes and y-intercepts are not the same, the lines are not or do not coincide. So they're not coinciding. Therefore, the lines are intersecting.